So here are the six top 10 automation frameworks you need to know. One of my pet peeves is when teams start creating frameworks from scratch. They spend months and sometimes years developing very sophisticated frameworks, and then they're very proud of it. But it turns out a lot of times that these frameworks aren't that maintainable, or they were really developed by people that really weren't developers, or they really didn't have the expertise in creating a, a real strong framework. And the reason why it bothers me is there's a lot of open source solutions out there already that you can utilize within your current projects to make your test automation efforts even better. So if there's a solution that's already available, why create the wheel from scratch? There's already things out there that probably can do what you're trying to do. And honestly, probably do it better because it was built by a bunch of developers that have contributed over time to create a framework that has proved to be stable for many users with many different applications. So before you fall into build your own automation framework, make sure you check out these top six open source automation frameworks. Check it out. So the first one is Serenity, formerly known as the Cities. If you need a Java-based framework that integrates with behavior-driven development tools like Cucumber and JBehave, and want to keep your test scenarios at a high level with low-level implementation details in your reports, then Serenity might be the tool for you. Serenity is an open source tool designed to make writing automation acceptance and regression test easier. A key benefit of using Serenity is it acts as a wrapper on top of Selenium WebDriver and other BDD tools. This makes writing BDD and Selenium tests easier because it abstracts away a lot of the boilerplate code you sometimes need to write to get started. So if you look to the documentation for Serenity, you notice that there's a lot of built-in functionality like web driver management, managing state between steps, screenshots, running tests in parallel, Jira integration, and more. All available to you without you having to write any custom code to get this functionality. And Serenity is really awesome at creating unbelievable reports out of the box. Serenity creates living documentation that can be used not only to view your Selenium BDD test results, but also as documentation for your applications. If you want to use Python for your test automation efforts, you can't go wrong using the robot framework. The robot framework is a mature solution that was created for testers and uses a keyword-driven approach to make tests readable and easy to create. It also has many test libraries and other tools you can use. The Selenium WebDriver library is probably the most used external library, but robot framework can test things other than just websites like FTP, MongoDB, Android, Appium, and more. The keyword approach used by Robot Framework is great for testers who are already familiar with other vendor-based keyword-driven test tools, making the transition to open source much easier for them. So if your team is made up of mostly testers, Robot Framework would be a great option for your automation framework. Redwood HQ takes a little different approach from the other tools on this list. It creates a website interface that allows multiple testers to work together and run their tests from one web accessible location. Tests can be ran in either Java Groovy, Python, or c -sharp code to test web applications with Selenium, APIs, or databases using their web IDE. You can leverage Redwood HQ's existing action keywords to get started creating and modifying tests quickly. The built-in IDE allows you to create and modify test cases and actions, as well as the ability to execute your test. You can also run your tests against predefined machines in parallel and see a running history of all your previous test runs. Redwood HQ is tester friendly and has a lot of built-in features that allows you to create complete test automation and test management solutions for your teams. Sahi has both an open source and pro version and was developed for testing web applications. It works as a proxy server that allows you to use it within a browser. From the Sahi dashboard, you can launch the browser you want to test. It also comes with a controller that guides you through the recording and capturing of the interactions you want to perform against your applications. So if you're used to Selenium IDE, it's something similar to that. When you hover over an element in the Sahi browser, for instance, it will show you all the actions you can perform against that particular element. You can also use the controller to play your scripts back. Sahi's record and playback functionality makes it easy to get started with test automation. I've heard quite a bit about Sahi, but you know I haven't used it personally. I just know that a lot of people rave about the pro version. Now, the Gainlink framework is a little different from the other test frameworks that we covered so far in that it allows you to really focus on testing your user experience or your user experience designs or layout testing. It was created specifically for UX testing and has a special syntax and rules you can use to describe and verify your application's layout. It allows you to specify your browser size, then run tests against your application to verify your layout specifications. Galen tests also generate a detailed HTML report with screenshots and visual image comparisons with a really cool heap map feature. And tests can be written in simple text files using Java or JavaScript. Gauge is one of the newest open source test automation tools that runs on both Mac, Windows, and Linux. 
and was developed by the folks at TestWorks, the same company that created Selenium. People who use TDD and BDD really will appreciate Gage's focus on creating living executable documentation. So Gage automation tests are called specs and are written usually in a markdown language using Java, Ruby, or C Sharp within your existing developer's IDEs like Eclipse and Visual Studio. Gage's functionality can also be extended with its support for plugins. Gage is pretty new and is still in beta, but I've heard a few people say that they really, really enjoy it. So if your team is into cutting edge test development, you might want to give Gage a try. This is just a small sample of the type of open source test automation frameworks you have available to you. Before you write the first line of code of a test automation framework, make sure there isn't a library or framework you can leverage already. Stop wasting your time reinventing the wheel and check out one of these automation frameworks first before investing any more time and effort on creating your own automation frameworks from scratch.